right. Here we go. Hey, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the Crypto <laughs> Black Sheep Show! Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, that boy got some lungs! <laughs> Sometimes. Unless my nuts just dropped. That was long, man. <laughs> I think I broke my record there. I think so. You just beat our Arsenio Hall show. <laughs> right? What up? Boomy the last. Welcome to the stream. Cross is yo! Welcome to the stream, guys. Episode 759. Can't stop, won't stop. I'm a boy, Shane. What is up, guys? How are you doing today? We got 11 people out there. Let's bring some more peeps in here. You know what time it is. Like 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 Oh yeah, you know. Okay. Is, Shane, what the I fuck are you doing? Uh, texting or writing on. You, you, you know what you look like. Have you ever seen that fucking movie like, Flushed Away? Like, no, but I look. You know, like with the movie. fucking singing slugs. Yeah, that's it. You look like one of those fucking things. Just no likes today. Anyway, all right, let's get right to it. What is today? Uh, Thursday. Huh? Oh, yeah, it that's right. You guys are a day behind. No, we're on the right time. You're <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, you're like off that's in right. the future that's somewhere. Right. That's right. Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> out for the future. <laughs> Still shit, Still by the way. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least, uh, at least Joe Biden is uh, under investigation now. Oh, yes. Yeah, saw that. Fucking nice. Yeah. That's a fucking win. We'll see. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, we've we've thought uh, things were gonna happen in the past and mm. didn't happen, so no, you're very right. <sighs> yeah, so I actually just finished up a meeting with uh Joker. Oh cool. Yeah. Uh, how'd yeah, that go? We were, yeah, really good actually. Um, we got I, I actually got a lot uh, established as to what I need to get done. Um, I've almost got his uh, contribution and distribution contracts sorted. Um, the intricacies are where his token is concerned. Um, so I'll be working on that a little bit later uh, because after the stream today, I'll be working more on the wool shed. I need to try and get this deploy sorted because it trips up around the proxy deployment again. Not sure why. Maybe it's something I changed there, but uh, yeah, one little step, and I'm sure we'll be on the way. Okay. Maybe yep. uh, reach out to BT or something. Maybe he'll know. Uh, uh, I doubt that is. I doubt that's necessary. It's probably okay. something stupid I've done. Yeah. Should figure it out. Yep. Wouldn't that be funny uh, though? Uh, if we call him in at three times a charm, fucking. Three times you find something <sighs> stupid I've done. 
That's what I'm saying. Like he did it last time. So, I mean, don't, don't be hung up on it for a week trying to do it yourself. <laughs> no, no, of course not. No. <laughs> oh shit. I myself. We no, have resources. Good. We have resources. That's right. Yeah. That's it. Right. I mean, what, that's like the final fucking test deployment and we're, yep. uh, we're on our way. That's pretty much it. Nice. Hey, let's so check my you, my so email on the live stream and see if Steve had ever got back to me. Nope. He rugged on us just like he rugged well, on after, after being like <laughs> quick when we were trying to set up the interview and we were talking, I mean, he was fast. Maybe a couple hours because, you know, time differences. But he was fast. Boom, yeah. boom, boom. And then I wonder oh. if he saw the show and was like, I don't want to be a part of that. Right. <laughs> But at least tell us, be like, you know what? I don't think that's the right image for nope. me. Crypto new, say, what's going on, man? Okay, fag. Living the dream, living the dream. So he says call him Scarecrow is what he always says. Oh, Scarecrow? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Jeez Louise. Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. See what Drip's gonna give us today. <laughs> so, what else is new? Nothing. Just you know. Looking good as always. Yep. Hey, how's the Drip Island bull buying it up? Or no, fuck no, I ain't buying that it's shit up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not buying that shit up. Other people. What would want to be? What would want to be whale do? Well, you know what? Uh, why don't we ask? <laughs> hey, y'all know what I would do, right? I go buy the drip. <laughs> Oh my god. That guy, that guy has got so love it. Like <laughs> just conviction on what he built and so much energy, man. I don't get it. Right. Yeah, bro, I got energy. You know why? Because I'm hot on Jesus and Drip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who invited that guy? Isn't it Mad Dog's fault? That was your fault. No. Your mic's I popping don't... a little bit. I didn't get him into crypto. Fucking good old mad dog. <laughs> Fucking mad dog. <laughs> Fucking hey, man. Yeah, I could just sit here quiet just with this face and it's entertaining. Right. So today, still nobody has beaten the, uh, what is it, like $5,000 buy. So Fuck. today, the jackpot went up to $300. Tomorrow, it will be $400. Uh, 49.47 is the number to beat. So, yeah. We're still waiting on someone. I'm sure I'm sure it'll be beat once it gets closer to $5,000, but that's going to take a while. So I'm just going to let it simmer. Yo, have you seen the fucking price action on Trunk today? Yeah. It's up to 42 fucking cents. I know. Yeah. yeah. I know. I was hearing you telling BT, like, we need to get that bitch back because then that alone will have you, like, living large. Yeah, Almost half pretty much. Day. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be back to $1,000 a day when it hits peg. Fucking A. What, what do you currently have in there? Um, bonded. Uh, fucking metric fuck time <laughs> wow you uh, i think it was like um no hold on you're american so that's an imperial fuck ton <laughs> yeah right imperial fuck. uh 221,000 but like i still got 453,000 you know max so yeah i have uh um, my mom my bonded I, I think i'm almost at 60 grand let's see i got 23,000 bonded 
Yeah, if if you go between Stampede nice. and what I have in native staking, I have like over sixty, but um, I have like I have fifty two bonded. Fifty two. Hey, mom. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, we got a nice fucking shout. Speaking of Joker's mom, we got a nice shout from. Uh, I didn't get to catch it, but um, oh, I'm on his back screen to yesterday. Yeah, Joker. <laughs> oh, dude, because yeah. the Joker, I've been finding on Twitter because he like likes my shit and I share his and shit. And yeah, uh, so I'm finding a lot of hexagons and all the ones that are fucking choking down Richard Hart's dick. I've just been trolling the hell out of them. So what got me kicked <laughs> off Twitter before was trolling Democrats, right? So I'm not trolling Democrats anymore. Got right? the lifetime <laughs> ban lifted. I'm just going after Richard Hart and hexagons. Not going after Hex, it's more like trying to just open their fucking eyes. Like the right. you guys got a great community. You need to like what Joker's trying to do, get away from the shit bag that, that you all suck his dick and, and do your own yeah. thing because you got a, such a great, strong community. Wonderful people we met at Pulsecom. People came up to me, he's like, I know who yeah. you are. I can't believe you showed your face here. And I was like, <laughs> I don't give, I don't give a fuck. And what's anybody gonna do anyway? There's only like two guys bigger than, than me here, and right? One of them is with us. <laughs> right. Kenny this this would be this would be Shane if somebody tried to do something. Do you want to lose your fucking knee, Chad? <laughs> you see the look, dude. See that guy was smart. He looked real quick. <laughs> Who's going to see this? Not right. realize that the person in the car is like right there. Just slapped him. Yeah. Shout okay. out to Joker. He's a fucking badass. What that guy? Yeah, dude. All right. Back to the crypto. No, at? dude. I didn't. I thought that was fucking awesome. I, I've been wanting to go into some of those and be like, by the way, I am period beard in case you dummies don't know. <laughs> I've, been, I've been wanting to play off the whole period beard thing, bro. I <laughs> I've, I've been thinking about going and writing Travon on YouTube and being like, oh, by the way, thanks for making me go viral last year. Would you do me a favor and do it again? Because who was right? Me. I'm period beard. Right. <laughs> they can't think of a better name. Oh, period beard. Oh, what? Because you've never seen a woman's vagina and don't know how a period works. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Johnny, uh, no, he never fucking emailed me. I've che I just checked on the live stream when it started. Still nothing. Sure, quick to... F I, I wonder if he saw our show and was like, I'm not being associated with those guys. No fucking way. Uh-oh. Did I lag out or is it sheep? uh i think that's sheep okay cool i was sitting here all quiet like uh wait a minute did i just lag out because my background yeah. keeps going like this too Click. yeah oh, hold on a second he's got this fucking weird ass fucking yeah <laughs> creepy ass yeah yeah hey you know what 
save. Oh, yeah, shit. Bigger one. Yeah, you know what? That's... Oh, it went away right when I went to try and get a screenshot. I got it. Okay. <laughs> so, everybody, welcome to the Shane and Donnie show. Um, Dad is com- mom's coming back. Whatever he uh... identify. Oh, uh, sheep. Do you? Oh, yeah. Do you have the clip of Richard Hart talking about dressing gay? Yeah. That was pretty epic when he did. I I've was only like, had this thing like a year, dude. Like, what the hell? And you got a your computer is like one or two steps up from mine. You got the same thing, but I yeah. think. I think you got two steps above me. I don't know what it is. You got the best. Uh, what kind of computers did we get? MSI, right? Yeah, you got the yeah, best. MSI, yeah, you got the best one, and I got like the second best one. But there was. I know um, it's a beast. It just for some reason it wants to wants to do this shit now. But uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Uh, their eyes are on here. You mean? Um, I don't know if I saw that, but you know, it's like, uh, I, I just wish that, you know, I hope Joker, cause I, he's got the good intentions, right. And he's trying to, he loves the community, even though the community ostracized him for speaking up. Um, but he's still, he's like black sheep though. Still loves the fucking community, but is waking up to the, truth of the the founder and what's hurting it um and joker just mm-hmm. wants to help that community still thrive and maintain and sustain while still being able to be hexagons you know and, and i i think that's awesome that's the thing undoubtedly the culture has like you know that that definite presence of camaraderie and you know looking out for one another you know the, the force is like not really one to be reckoned with <laughs> i mean yeah you, you say something bad and instantly they're all up your ass, right? Yep. But, you know, that that's a good thing. You know, it's just unfortunate that there is that fucking... Yeah, I, I don't know. Joker is good, man. Fucking, yeah. Shout out, Joker. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. <coughs> he just <coughs> honestly just wants to help the community. Do what he can. Okay, so man, I have all these hexakins on people I may know coming up now afterward because I've been talking all my fucking I'm trolling them, but I'm trolling them with truth and facts, even though hexakins don't like to see it and they automatically deny it, you know. They'll always say, well, Richard Hart already addressed that and said it's fun. Oh, he called something that came out 20 years ago fun. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. What's up, Andre? How you been, brother? What's up, Andre? I've been good. Good, good. That's checking in. Yeah, you don't come on enough anymore. No, no. (laughs) What is up, dude? How you doing? I'm good, good. Been busy, man. Yeah. Yes. Life sir. good, family good. Life is excellent. So good. last Sunday was my last day at work. You you finally quit and you're living off crypto now? Not fully crypto. Amazon and crypto. Okay. All right. What are you doing? Are you doing FBA or FBA? Okay, nice. Did you uh learn how to do it from a course or did you figure it out yourself? From a course, bro. I spent Who, like who did you use? What's the guy name? I have, I have the link. I could send it to you. I, I used uh, a guy named Tom Wang, an Asian guy from Can that lives in Canada. He did the private private label. Um, he has done shit like that. Yeah, he's a that? brilliant guy. Mm-hmm. So yeah. why do you not do it anymore? Um, because I started making so much money on uh, crypto that the headache because I was selling weed pipes right, and it was legal and everything. And then somebody else who was probably a competitor, they said, basically reported my shit and then they pulled it off. And then the lady was like, well, just redo your your back, you know, your back end, all your words and stuff. And you should be fine. I was like, I'm not I'm not going to deal with this again. So um, and I couldn't find any other product that I felt 
had as good of a profit but, margin as that for that. Guy. So I just, I stopped. I really want to get into it, but I, when I do, like I have to shut, I'll have to shut out you guys and crypto for like two weeks and to do all my research. No, to oh, find I'm doing it. it now is, is, um, basically I'm selling stuff that is already selling like, so you're arbitrage, like arbitraging shit. Similar, but not because I'm getting them shipped to my house. Then I send it to the FBA. So basically, oh, okay. like, say for instance, the Nike store. Just using Nike as an example, I find a couple of stuff that I think is profitable and they, they have a good um, BSR yeah, and good profit margin. Then I just buy them and I ship them off. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I I mean, there's so many different ways of doing it. Like there's the where you, where you arbitrage shit. There's the ways where like one person I was watching, they made a ton of money off of like flour, like cooking flour, right? Yeah. Because... That they just piggyback off of the manufacturer's um, um, ad and everything. Yeah, and they pay you no. They stupid, Mike. Uh, they don't have to pay dumb as fuck. all the <laughs> PPC ads and all that because they're just piggyback and they make so much money. You know, like there's so many ways to do Amazon if you want to take yeah. time. That's what I'm doing now. No, I'm no, I'm trying to. I'm getting really good at it. Plus, I have a guy working for me, so he does the the market research. He finds the product. I look at it. Okay, this is a good one. This is not a good one, and I just buy. I buy. Yeah. It, ship to me. Like, I'm getting so good at it that I'm gonna do a course where I'm, the person's like, "Hey, you have twenty thousand. You want me to run your store? All right, I run it. You do. I do everything. Only thing you give me is a profit share. Yeah, or something like that. There's a lot of companies that do that already. That's yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, it is. You know, even if you only get, you know, even if you're running your own store and you only get two or three guys that you run stores for, I mean, it's just more income, you know, more income. Yeah. So both me and my wife full time now is Amazon and crypto. Nice. Well, yeah. congratulations, man. Yeah, man. Thank you, bro. Yeah, that's I, I, that's like, the, you know, that's the goal, you know, work for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it'll give you a lot more time now with your family uh you know you can go travel and shit more often because you don't have to worry about oh shit i got a job i have to show up to you know if you want to go somewhere you schedule it and you go yeah yeah that's just it and for instance no what we're gonna do because my wife's birthday is in christmas right so we're gonna all everything now i was just in the garage so i had to come up because she's listening to something um and we're going to order everything and we're going to ship it to Amazon. We're going to leave right after that. So but, but while we're partying and doing whatever stuff is selling, and then we'll just come back. We keep ordering. By the time we're back in town, we just send more stuff to Amazon and just keep that going. You should do it again, though, Shane, because it's... Like it's not go, it, it's not slowing down. Nice. Yeah, I I I think about it sometimes. Um, like I I still you like I used um Helio Ten. Do you use anything like that? Like an add on Helio Ten, so you can look at when yeah. you look at other people's listings. <laughs> I used that, and I used a virtual launch is the program I used yeah. to help figure out what product was you know profitable no. but that's all like self-branding stuff you know what yeah. i did was all self-branding which is a lot more fucking work i probably should learn uh more about the way you do it i know the basics of that but i've never really dove into it you so you still have your store up and running uh i technically i do but i don't i don't have anything listed but yeah. i do no, still like have my merchant account yeah because like what 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 I do is I know to do some of the stuff, but there, you know everything there is person that is better at certain stuff. So I have a guy that I pay like um five hundred dollars a month and every day he just give me products. He only takes one day off, which is a Friday. Yeah. He gives me product. I'm like, okay, I don't like this one. The only part about it you're gonna need time is when the stuff reach to you, you're like, you know, you have to pack this up, you have to go to the US UPS store. Yeah. Well, it's good. Yeah.
as you say, you don't have to do any any marketing, any no 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 part of that you have to do. So it's good. Yeah, because the way I was doing it, like to you know, you you would want you wanted to run marketing ads and PPC ads because you know I was selling my own product, own brand, yeah. Dude, you know one thing I almost fucking I almost sold, but the market was a little too oversaturated. And this sounds I never even knew they existed till this. They make these things for girls to pee in where they can stand up. It looks like a funnel. I can't remember what it's called anymore, right? Before. So they can stand and just pee. I'm yeah, just, like I'm camping or something. A, a girl could just be like <laughs> yeah. camping or she could like piss in a urinal. And dude, it 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 was pretty it looked pretty profitable. But um, and I thought it would have been awesome to be like become a millionaire off of that. How'd you get rich? Uh, from chicks pissing into funnels. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but the 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 weed pipe thing, which is funny. Back then, I wasn't smoking weed. It was one of those times where I had quit. Um, was way more profitable. Like I was so proud of myself because by the end, I was having to deal with manufacturers in China, and the yeah. Chinese are fucking harsh. And I raped these Chinese on the price. I was so that was what I was most proud of of everything. I got them shipped for a dollar ten per unit, and I was selling them. Uh, what was it? I think thirteen or fourteen ninety nine a unit. I was selling them, yeah. and I'd get them shipped full, shipped full to the from China to the FBA warehouse, dollar ten a unit. Yeah. It was insane. I was doing these these vaccine powder, uh, like I did like crazy money on those but then it died it just they call call the pandemic off and it's died like shit. yeah i had 500 but it's like i paid like two dollars for each so it was just like a thousand dollars and i was yeah. selling them at the time for like 13 12 dollars yeah so I paid money when it was good and i sold like two thousand units but i lost when everything died and the sales stopped i had like 500 units i had to just throw away wow yeah but it's good i learned from that so now i'm just selling brand that is already selling yeah yeah and and that if if i got back into it i think that's what i would do just because it's one less headache i mean if it's it feels good when you win when you feel like you win a battle and you get a great price on something from a manufacturer but then like that was that process alone of going back and forth with the, with a manufacturer and then sending me sample products and then going back and forth, that alone was a, a month or two. Yeah, and 2 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, yes, the- yes. I would be up at like, and that was uh, when I first started fucking up my sleeping habits and then Jenny would be mad and I'm like, I have to be on here when it's morning in China. Yeah, yeah. I have like when they're getting to work, you know, morning, afternoon, I have to be in front of this computer in the during this phase because I'm dealing with directly with China. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I would I would use like what Al- Alibaba is actually where I would usually find um manufacturers that no, I there's work. no that's what I use also um for some of my products, they're still good. Yeah, so there's a Chinese version of Alibaba that's all in Mandarin. If I remember, it's called like 669.com, some shit like that. So one one if you ever use Alibaba again, you figure out what the name of it is. I could be remembering it wrong. But you use it as a bargaining tool. You tell them that you know about that website and they're offering it to you for a cheaper price. The same oh. thing. I'm going to check it out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because then you're going, it's really them, but then they're like, oh, shit, because it's typically cheaper over on that website because it's all in Chinese. The whole Chinese, the whole website's in Mandarin. So they're dealing with Chinese people typically, unless smart people know how to, you know, get one of those translators, which I learned about those translators through doing all this. And it would translate the entire fucking website, the whole thing. And I click a button and it would go back to the original. Oh, cool. Yeah, but that way I was able to go through and look, and uh, I would some and I would you know tell them, oh, I found a better. Um, I probably have it in my favorites somewhere. Builder FBA. Yeah, I still have like on my main uh, toolbar. I still have like the viral launch list, which was my listing builder, Alibaba. Yeah, Tom Wang, my Amazon manage uh, inventory. 
like that's all still like when I look at the top, it's all the main shit. Good, bro. Hopefully, I'm ready for the bull market to get. My goal is actually to hold one um, Bitcoin before it starts. And I think it's possible now, how things is going. So it's a small goal, but from where hey. I'm coming from, it's, it's, it's a start. Yeah, and that's always what it's about, man. It's start with small goals that are obtainable. Like I far succeeded goals that I've had for myself financially in crypto way faster than I thought I would ever be able to. So, you know, it's give yourself reasonable goals. And then you know, when you catch them way faster, you're like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. And then it just gives you bigger goals. Yeah. That- oh yeah. You packing shit up to send off right now. <laughs> yeah. Are you? That's what I'm doing in the garage working with my wife. Okay. So uh are you are you just selling one product at a time or you have multiple products you're running? Multiple products. Okay. Nice. Uh and that what are they do you, do they have you send them all to the same uh distribution center or are you sending them every multiple, multiple distribution center? Okay. So I guess yeah. you're sending like say um like say a thousand of something, like seven or so boxes, you're gonna go to like four different distribution centers. Yeah. But that is good also because at least they will sell your product faster because they don't exactly. have for it to reach the customer. They're like, okay, two days delivery. Let's- yeah, yeah. I, I would do that with like when I would get like I had a whole pallet of product, and then I would have to have I'd have to have a third party do it. Uh, do the delivery, but half of it go to one distribution center and half go to another distribution center. Three PL, three PL service. Is that who? Is that what you use? No, probably I- people making bank with that shit, huh? Oh yeah, if you know how you're doing, if you know what to do, uh, like dude, I came right out of the bat. Uh, not net it, my net wasn't ten grand a month, but in sales. Right out the bat, do ten grand in sales the first two months, and then fuck, and then yeah. fuck. Like and then fuck. <laughs> Shane said, "You don't what? let that amount of profit, but most product it's like fifteen to twenty percent profit." Yeah, like, some some is like ten, but most is like fifteen to twenty. If you get what, what happened to yours, Shane? Why did you get fucked? Because they, I was selling weed pipes and somebody that my, di- um, like, oh, they shut down your whole thing because of that. Uh, one, well, each listing at a time, I had four listings cause I had four different colors, uh, color options. So they shut down one. And then I got a hold of my like representative that is in Washington at their corporate. And she was like, um, well, if the other ones haven't been shut down, don't worry. Uh, maybe just try and change some of your back end like words wording and all this shit there's so much on the back end people don't realize and um and then she's like and then just repost it and i was like oh son of a bitch and while i was like getting ready and i was redoing my whole thing my other ones start getting reported and she told me someone is reporting them she doesn't think it's the a their ai she thinks it's possibly a competitor uh, of me that was seeing you know, my pro- someone who's been around longer and seeing my product and saw me as a danger to them and their business start. And they even told me, uh, start reporting everybody you see with similar stuff. I was like, I'm not a fucking snitch. You guys can do your job. <laughs> right. Like, I'm not going to go around and start reporting other people who are just trying to make a fucking living. Like, that's terrible. Especially if they're doing good. Yeah, I don't but want- look, dude, it's a dog eat dog world, man. Fucking, if you are there selling, then they're not getting sales. So you know, much the same to them. It's you know, it's really that you look in a free market like that. You really want to be the capitalist that corners it. Oh, I know. Yeah, but you know, I understand what Shane is saying. Also, though. oh yeah, absolutely. Like, there's I mean, guys like Andre, you know, you know, out there busting their ass, and and just because they might be selling something that. It is kind of in a gray area. And it's funny because the pipes we were allowed to sell, it was all in the verbiage. Like you knew at you knew in the front end, don't put weed, marijuana, Mary Jane, nothing like that, right? Call it tobacco pipes. Or the other people would call it Jamaican pipes, even though you're like, What? That ain't Jamaican. What are you fucking? <laughs> they 
it's all verbiage on the way you word shit. So um, it just it, it's dumb and it, it is doggy dog in there. So it's like you know what I didn't want to deal with it. Like I had to have fucking you know I had a, I was like I don't want to buy more barcodes because I had to like redo the barcodes on the one on them as they got taken down because that barcode now belonged to. That's what that. You you were just lazy, or you were making too much money at Master Notes. Yeah, both. <laughs> yeah, because I I was just like, well, I was pissed, dude. I spent like three months, um, three four months finding product. You know, getting the like I was saying, getting them to send me the fucking samples and, and negotiations and and. You know, all that shit, dude. I had fucking someone design me the thank you cards, you know, that were going into every box. I still have some them around here somewhere. I have all the samples still. Um, but I had, I mean, you know what I mean? I had all that. And then when that shit happened, it just took the wind right out of my sails. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Three, four months of work, just poof, gone. And gone. That's why if I did it again, I'd want to do it probably like Andre, because that would save me all those. It would save me all those other months, and then I would just have to do the physical shit like he has to do right now. Okay, yeah. get shit ready and send it off. Right. And then when you do FBA, the best part, because I was going to do uh, FBM, fill, fill by manufacturer. Of course. Yeah. Because I was thinking, well, it'll save me a lot of money by having the product here. I can go once a day and, and you know, however often I need to the and send it off. And I was like, no, nope, because then when you have complaints and returns, you, you deal with it. all of that. Plus, yeah. if you have a hundred order for the day, that's going to be crazy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Busy day. And your goal is to actually get more than a hundred order for the day. So, yeah. Yep, yep, yeah. Because I thought, and I was like, "No way, it's worth it to let Amazon do all that, all that work." But um, it, it's still it's a very profitable thing, and it's easy. Like, look at him; he's on here on the live stream with us, and he's working. Yep. You just packing shit up all day. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes nice. until the package is until the, the delivery is here. But apart from that, I'm always. I have nothing to do. No boss nice. or two. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's what it's all about. I was thinking that's why I do this shit. <laughs> I was an RV, but I'm like, shit, it's too expensive. <laughs> this is my day yeah. job right here, talking shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, me too. Wait, wait, hold on. This is my day job. <laughs> my day job is just to, you know, be a supermodel as always. I just hit my two year. Self-employed, Mark. Three days ago. Very nice. Done well done. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So what's, good to me. what's the plan for the wool shed, um, Black Sheep? We're going to wait or we're going to still tentatively no, land? We're, it's just about done. We're just waiting for Donnie to finish it up. And uh, we're we're scheduled. We're we're, we're shooting for uh, the five-year anniversary on the December 15th. So, oh, yeah. Shoot, looks, shooting looks like we're... Um, <laughs> yeah, no promises, but it looks like we're we're right on right on track. So, yeah, Oops, right, Donnie. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, cool, got the mains of the contracts integrated. Hit a little hiccup with the deployment script, but as I said, should be all right. I'll uh, give it another smash today, and uh, yeah, cool. just like usual, got to keep on whacking it. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you'll start you'll start screaming in the fucking voice chat when you get it right. Yeah, that's right. How about that? Yeah. Like usual, we're using yeah. it. What's that, Andre? I have a question about the LMS we're using in Furia. Uh -huh. Furia. Um, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Are we doing um, something like that for ourselves? It's a good piece of technology that I think has been used questionably. Okay. I think is the nice way of saying things. Um, All right. I'll, I'll say that we've grabbed a copy of the tech behind that and, and sort of implement a very similar sort of thing. Okay. But uh, it's it's certainly customized to help um, better implement what we want to do. And, and one of the things that we really wanted to do from the start um, has always been to create the sheep wool pair as the primary method of swapping wool 
and sheep and all that sort of thing. And uh, that actually enables us to do so a lot more easily. Okay. But yeah. Why I was asking is because I know if there's sell pressure on the our sheep token that's going to bring the value down. So I'm worried about that also. Well, at the end um, of the day, it's all ratios. Like people are going to sell wool token and the price of sheep per wool will go down. People will buy wool token and the price will go back up again. Um, what matters, as always, is you know if people strategize to play wool shed for the long term game, um, and the applications that we build afterwards. You know the the deflationary things that we'll build on to to burn off the supply. Um, there's also been a number of discussions, which I'm also going to talk to the board about. But I've actually had chats with a few others in the community about uh, ideas that reward those who keep their accounts net positive for an extended period of time. Um, things like that to really increase sustainability of the ecosystem overall. One of the things that I really wanted to draw to people's attention is that you know we have an anticipation that these daily ROI type applications only last a certain amount of time, but it needn't be that way. And I think Woolshed can kind of be the, the difference in that, if that makes sense, because yeah. Yeah. none of the applications that we've seen out there so far deflate their supply or think about that sort of thing wow. straight out of the gate the way that we are um it, yeah, it well, none, of them are, none of them are backed by a hedge fund either so exactly <laughs> oh, you know we have fucking support, today. we have <laughs> hedge fund support we already have a bunch of the things that are necessary to drive a, a platform like that I, I think um overall couple that with the slow slow release of initial supply uh through the nfts i, I think this is going to be a, a really really good thing overall guys you know oh, i think so yeah we're gonna make it a good thing because our community is badass <laughs> fucking earth it is and i think the like i was saying the the incentive to stay in that vault and help appreciate the uh the the price of sheep is gonna be um i think the the i'm a fucking pickle um pickle. <laughs> i'm not be, hide the pickle, playing hide the pickle with you I think that's going to be like the 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 secret secret sauce, you know. Okay. So Yeah, because especially like, you know, once once we start unloading that fucking hedge fund into sheep, dude, like people are just going to see that that price just uh climbing when crow comes back. I mean, it might take it might take a little bit to yeah, come to fruition, but it's going to happen, you know. Like like most of the board members are the one that is heavily I'm heavily in also. Because like we can wait, like wait until Crow comes back. Because when Crow comes back, the only thing could stop yeah. someone rug the, the chart, or, like, rug the entire thing. So, and because the yeah. board are the ones with the strong hand, you know, it should be good. What yeah. we got to remember as well that that none of the other applications have as well is the deflationary nature of sheep token and how that works. I mean, quite literally, I I, I don't I really want to see how this is going to work out when we start activating the floor sweeps, the the reusable liquidity, all that sort of thing of, of sheep token because that's going to be rallied against wool. There's going to be more and more supply burnt off, more you know reusable liquidity that we can just keep smacking right on top of the market pushing the floor up ways right and think about this as that supply gets more scarce more difficult to get hold of you know people are going to have to farm harder get more wool tokens to get that sheep you know those two things are directly correlated in a way that means those who try to cabbage hands early and try to take value take it away early you know without thinking about playing the game properly they aren't the ones who are going to win in the long run. This is 100%, I think, a, a a perfect gear against one another. You know, you're going to have to work hard in the wool shed to get the value as the sheep token becomes more scarce. That's yeah. That to me says, you know, as I said, no other application that we've seen thus far does that. You know what? Also, Danny, I think you you could do is like for persons you could show them the way like that long strategy that you're talking about because if someone sits up they can play the long game like for instance i do not know a lot of stuff about crypto i'm just sitting there learning every day with you guys but yeah. like that's one of the reasons i did not go to the, the, the drip farm and i'm kind of happy but 
people even at when it's at two dollars now i still don't know what to do inside of it that's why you know i stay away from some of the stuff like hmm. bro, it's easy because it's on your phone and you know you're not you just out of compound for 100 days or 200 days and you just wait Yep. I think it's going to be good. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. He's the working man over there. Yep. <laughs> it's it's like you now open up the the fuel, you know. I'm just doing it on a different end. <laughs> right. What's up, Crispy? How you doing? Lucky Manfred. What's going on, man? Oh. Oh, man. We got a whole party joining in now. What up? We're going to be rich with the wool shed, you bumble clad. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that? <laughs> What's up with Mantra? That looks creepy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You're muted, Mantra. Oh. I don't know. This is what I really look like, though. <laughs> it looks like he's going to say you want to play a game. Yeah, they probably have one of those in here. <laughs> <laughs> you want to play a game on your little, little tricycle? I'm I'm fond of this one. I might I might have to make this my personality. I like <laughs> it. Uh, we're making uh we're making steady progress with villain token and Joker. You know we're getting the. Oh uh, hell yeah. Just had a meeting earlier today reviewing all the stuff what we're doing cool man i'm excited <laughs> shane shane what are you doing shane i'm just talking to Janny. <laughs> you want to come over later and watch the spice channel yeah i don't know i think what shane's oh. got going on is free well i had to be I serious for me no so so i had um my group i'm not putting no one's name my group like uh, from like age of 16 to 20 uh that i hung out with was like four dudes right we were t we were all really fucking close we would like oh, i thought you were gonna say really fucking queer Go ahead. No, no, no. <laughs> no 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 wait, that goes wait, without wait. saying so so yeah you, know, you know 20 some years later you know we're almost 30 years later we're all grown up and and one of them one of the four of us completely disappeared for years and years and he just added me on facebook and i was like oh look it's fucking my buddy and like well, i was talking about him before like white trash is hell definitely you know you just white trash dude well he uh went to prison for five years and he came out and now he's gay and he has a boyfriend that's like, our husband husband that's so like i was right Yo, well you were right about one of us so if all these years later out of the four of us so two of us turned out more like um, we were the closest out of the two when the four of us were buddies. We were, we're like uh, like uh, Christian, more conservative, um, you know, more reasonable. And then the other, well, the other guy turned out, you know, he's a cocksucker. I mean, but if he's happy, he's happy. Good for him. And the other one is like 
a 400 pound he was 400 pounds back in high school but like a 400 pound like far 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 left wing fucking like straight up communist when he heard that I, from our other buddy that's like done well that's not a weirdo in life he told him oh you wouldn't believe shane's like done pretty well for himself and he's wealthy and our buddy had a complete anymore. meltdown anymore. he goes he had a complete meltdown that i have at money he goes somebody nobody needs that much money not especially not somebody like him and it's like and even he was like what do you mean someone like him yeah you know because he knows i'm not a liberal what about like someone like the ftx guy yeah 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 that's that money. Money. yeah, yeah. um <clears throat> Yeah, it, it, it's uh, but it's just weird, man. Like when someone you are like real close. So this is two different dudes from that time frame of my life. So did, like my, did that, you guys kind of like have the same background, like similar upbringing? Who like, the other guy who's queer? No, the other ones. Yeah, no, the all one who grew, the one who all of a sudden is gay. His mom, he grew up in like one of those like tweaker hoarder trailers where you're there you're lucky if you can find a spot to sit you kind of just had a path mom would let mom would yell came and yelled at us when we were like 16 because we didn't let his six-year-old brother johnny hit our weed pipe mom comes back yelling at us you better let your brother hit the i'm talking like the epitome <clears throat> of the most white trash tweaker <clears throat> did she did she have was she wearing a nightgown with curlers in her hair and a palm no, hanging no, from her no. lips oh okay it wasn't no, the my cigarette grandma. probably hanging from her lips and i the way i remember she had no teeth um, okay it wasn't my grandma then no it wasn't your grandma <laughs> dude but i mean the guy i mean he grew up as like as white trash t as you could think of like poor tweaker white trash and then um the other two guys grew up in more you know, you're more, you know, middle class, middle class, yeah. both of their, both the other kids, both of their moms were nurses that worked together. Um, and I ended up working with them when I was a CNA, uh, you know, so like all it, it, it was like, um, it's just, it's weird. Like when someone like, cause he even said to our buddy, he never liked guys at which we, I don't believe. I think you don't just wake up one day in prison. You're like, this guy's been really nice to me. I think I'm queer. No, no. But uh, but but uh, I was just like, well, egg heat now, uh, never a sign. My other buddy who I found out about five years ago is gay. Um, a lot of shit made sense when I found that out. I was like, oh, yeah, you go God. back and you're like, oh, okay. so much. And that guy lost his virginity to like this 400 pound. He used to go do these party lines a lot back in the day before they had the internet. You'd be on these party lines. There was this this girl I, i'll never forget her name was a lacy girl and she was like 300 plus pounds short red hair of oh, ugly as fuck and he lost his virginity to her and so when i found out he was gay i was like so uh i was like are you sure you're gay or something like joking with him he's like and all right and then i brought up who he lost his virginity to he goes well if i wasn't gay before that i definitely was after <laughs> and i was like <laughs> But he told me too. I was like, "Did you know you were gay back when we were younger and we were all buddies?" He's like, "I knew I loved to suck dick since I was twelve. I just didn't do it yet." And I was like, "Hey, yeah, okay, awkward." Yeah, they like to tell you. Yeah, yeah. And he and then his his husband he's been with for like twenty years, and then they have like a boyfriend or something. And I was just like, awkward. Okay, like I wanted, I wanted to meet up with that guy when he came through town, and I still would have, but like, I was like, "Is your are you? Is your, would your husband like? It just would have been weird. Imagine like your buddy that from like, like early adulthood, and he's gay, and then he shows up with his husband and his boyfriend. You know, like, oh yeah, this is a bit awkward. You know what's funny is like, I was somewhat popular in high school, and not one person that I can think of like. That I've seen over the years, like has, <laughs> has been gay. It's like <laughs> nobody, nobody, <laughs> nobody's been. Dude, well, it's only been like, like I said, this one really shocked me. Uh, oh, dabs. So uh, I don't know, man. I haven't emailed him since the last time I emailed him was in the middle of the show when I asked him where he was at. He never responded. Uh, I'm not chasing him down. 
because I don't want to be rude. So if he comes to me and apologizes and says he'd like to reschedule, cool. If not, oh, you're you're talking about that guy. Yeah, the 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 money, the yield node CEO. Wait, I mean, he was a gay guy you knew from a long time ago? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. That, that, no, no, that's us. But Steve, what happened with Steve? No, no, no. He's like, what? You knew that guy? He's a cocksucker? No. Uh, apparently, he's a cocksucker in another way. But anyways, um, it, it is weird, though. Like, when I, because the, the other guy who turned out to be gay was like, yeah, I can totally see it. As soon as I found out, I was like, mm, makes sense. A lot of stuff makes sense right now. <laughs> yeah. But the other one, that's why my other buddy had a call him or called him and he's like, I got him on FaceTime and I want to see what he looked like now. He's all, you know, he he looked like shit. Check, check. Yep. Is it squeaky? Check, check, check. No. Why is that squeaky? No, it's normal. Oh yeah. Okay. What uh what do you use for the voice changer? I forget. Voice mod. Voice mod. Voice mod. <laughs> Real simple. What the hell right. here? Oh, my wife's yeah, calling me. I gotta go. Oh, my wife's calling me. Oh, he's like, I gotta go put on my magic underwear. <laughs> you guys gonna put on your magic Mormon underwear and procreate? Well, I'm out of town, so no. Oh, so you're in yeah, your Mormon underwear at home because the fucking girls come into the hotel room and find them magic <laughs> underwear. Check, check, check. Yeah, right. baby. That's right. Yeah. I just, free, I, just yeah. free, I free ball it when the horse come over here. Yeah. Mm. All right. Later, guys. Right. See you, dude. Right. Well, finally the fucking the copper's gone, man. You guys can't. You can never trust Johnny. He was a cop for a year in his life, so he is forever a snitch. <laughs> well, on the good side. Let's give him credit, though. Johnny was the cop that snitched on the other cop. So he was the snitch of the snitch. So it's like, did he get more respect from me for being the snitch of the snitch? Or is that even worse? Like, damn, you're snitching on the snitches. You're like the snitch, ultimate snitch. And, you know, you go either way. Andre's like, yeah, fuck all them snitches. <laughs> Andre, what state do you live in again? Is it Florida? Yep. Okay. Nice. When hey, when the hurricanes were there, uh, did you guys get hit? No, no. I was um northeast. No, north okay. northwest. Okay. In the Panango. Oh. Huh. Yeah, fuck. I, I've been looking at land possibly in Louisiana, but at the same Louisiana is the first place I ever been in my life where um, as a white person at, overall, or at least in Shreveport, I felt like a minority, like, cause there's just so many black folks there, but, but you know what? The other thing, guess who the nicest and most respectful people that I dealt with I, as a group, the black folks, the white people were like, they weren't like your typical nice Southern people with good manners. No. The white people, in, at least in Shreveport were like dicks and the black folks, no matter how ghetto they are educated, they seem more all fucking polite. Yeah. It's a weird dynamic. You ever been to Louisiana? Yes, I've been, but not not to uh, not not for a long time. I went for a party. Okay, but maybe in like in uh, Louis. I don't know if in down in New Orleans if it's different, but in Shreveport where I was at, but but I I kind of liked Shreveport. It, it's really cheap, but I would not want to live there full time. I would not want to be there in the summer. Why? It is. It's because it's hot and and humid there and they uh they also do get tornadoes so hot humid and tornadoes uh uh i'll wait till winter time when it's cool you don't feel the humidity and the tornadoes are not around (laughs) 
Yeah, I've I've thought about Florida too, maybe because I like the fact that it is more conservative, and I like the fact that there's no uh, state tax like here in Nevada. But um, the storms you guys get, man, the freaking weather. Every two, two, three weeks, you hear there's a storm out or there's something. It can be a sunny day, and in the next five minutes, it's raining. Yeah, that's and that's what a lot of people have told me. Like most parts of Florida in the summertime, you're you you probably you could be a perfect day, and all of a sudden, you, at least 20, 30 minutes of just rain, and then it's gone, and then it's then hot it's again. Perfect. Yeah, and then it makes just makes it even more humid. <laughs> but is it now would you say uh like florida weather wise is it pretty similar to uh when you're back home um i find it to be hotter here really here because we have the breeze from the caribbean ocean oh okay and here we don't have a lot of breeze and when it like when it's winter it gets really cold here like in Jamaica, it's summer. It's always well, summer, huh? Always summer. Yeah. Like yeah, I, 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 won, I was in Reno for um, five months. It was, the summer was like, I'm in hell. It's so hot. It was terrible. <laughs> and then... It was the end of summer, and then I had the winter, which I found out I do not like snow. <laughs> when it starts to melt and get mucky. Yeah. Yeah, that's the worst part. Yeah. I I like the snow, but I grew up in, in Las Vegas most of my life where it's so hot all the time that I prefer it to be a little bit cold than too hot. But yeah. I don't like humidity. I don't. And it is humid as hell down there. Look at Black Sheep with his little hat on. It matches my personality. <laughs> yeah. You're like a dead mouse, but like way cooler and creepier. <laughs> right. Me, I'm just being my typical uh, good looking self, you know, just hanging out. Oh, yeah. Tracking the ladies. Tracking the ladies to the show. I mean, the women love when you shake your face and it can jiggle. <laughs> Look at that. That's so crazy how it jiggles like that, dude. It looks so real. If I didn't know what I really looked like, I would believe this is me. Until I like do one of those. Oh, yeah. Or the crying face. Oh, uh oh, oh! Your wife's in the background. We better be quiet, and not say anything. That who? We bet his. It looked like his wife just came in the back. We better not make any dick jokes or anything. You know. Uh, <laughs> of course, you'd be well, the first to do that. We, we don't. <laughs> we don't want her make not letting him come hang out with us for a long time again. She's all really the fucking white American guys and their dick jokes. Get off there. <laughs> <laughs> we got 21 people out there, guys. That's some quality parenting. The first time, like, it's almost one year since I joined the group, actually. Has I it joined... been? No. It's been when more was, probably. was the sacrifice? Which day was the sacrifice? It was sacrifice had been, yeah, it's been over a year, I think. Yeah, so I was in sacrifice. So I joined we, maybe we launched on the 15th, and I won't well, I want no, maybe we did the sacrifice like a week before. I don't think there was a very long wait between when we did it and when we launched. And maybe it's like seven days. So I, I, I was in the group maybe one week before the sacrifice. Okay, yeah, so almost exactly a year, somewhere somewhere around now. Yeah. Nice. I just hit exact. I just hit my two years in the group on the 12th of this month. Oh, cool. Yeah. Black Sheep probably wishes he never answered that TikTok message. 
<laughs> well, hey, Chris, how you been, buddy? Yeah, you still doing crypto? Me too. <laughs> you probably wishes he would have been like, fuck, close. <laughs> you, you heard anything from the, the master notes? Like, I still have mine out of compounding. But you know, I haven't checked and see. Like, well, they were the CEO of Yield Nodes was supposed to be on the show yesterday, and he never showed up. Um, but I can tell you that, like two days ago, Mobic did another collateral change, and right now it's paying like what is it, two and a half percent a day? I think. Yeah, okay. two point four or five percent a day currently. Mobic. Oh, that's take a look at Mobic. That I'm shows though the, the when it when it's at and it's not even close to it the hype well, of its. Collateral change. Yeah. The only oh. argument I have with that is uh there's not a lot of liquidity. Yeah. <laughs> like not everybody's gonna, you know. Um where the fuck is it? Uh yeah. Because that's the shitty thing is when there's not a lot of liquidity, that's when these kind of crashes can happen, like what we just experienced. Yeah. Like right now, I'm making hundred and sixty dollars a day on Mobic. No, but obviously that's going. Cool. Compound, compound. Yeah. Is it Helio Bank? Helio Bank, yeah, sells it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the that, price action is looking like. I bought some before the prices start to go down. So, well, since I bought, I bought a lot of it of everything before the price went down. <laughs> Wrecked. We're looking at Mobic. Mobic. Yeah. How much? Yeah, a 0.53 BTC buy order. So, yeah, what is that like? Half, yeah, yeah, that's like ten thousand dollars, maybe not even that, not even that. Yeah, so one big whale dump and the fucking price drops like a wreck. Yeah, yeah, but it's still doing its collateral changes, so that's why right now it's doing the ramp up. Most people are in building stage right now like what i'm doing and then by the time like the end of you know the end of next year like quarter two quarter three i get the um, feeling like most of the people in these master nodes are probably people just getting into crypto like you know just fucking regular everyday plebs trying to know this is the old school shit this is the shit that most people don't even know about anymore yeah this is shit nobody cares about anymore <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I fucking bought me that car sitting behind me and a bunch of other yeah, shit. I yeah, well, you were into the you were in the King Master node, you know, when it was doing good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I see that very top of Mobic. I bought some up there. <laughs> it's kind of it's my thing. two Bitcoin buy order, man. There was there was like a fucking hundreds in here at one hundred. There used to be hundreds of buy order, like 150, 200. And you would be, yeah. and it was doing like 60, 70 Bitcoin a day in volume. I think since SAP was the top dog and it went to shit, like people kind of lost a little bit of uh, faith in these things. Yeah, it'll come, it'll come back eventually. I don't know if it'll yeah, come you back. Know, to I, th I think Master knows they're more of a bull market type thing, you know, like. Well, no, it Bitcoin was doing best in the bear. Money. It That's what it was mm -hmm. before. It was every time Bitcoin was dumping, it was pumping. And that was yeah, what was fucking weird. Like the biggest pumps on it, if you correlate it with a Bitcoin um, uh, chart, a lot. I can't say every one, but a lot of those big dumps would core or uh, jumps up would correlate with a dump in Bitcoin. It was so fucking weird. Yeah, I'm just and I'm curious to see what happens next next bull run. Yeah. Oh. See. oh. <clears throat> we will see but i'm still holding i'm still building all my positions except for sapphire oh i gotta hold it's not worth nothing oh look at look at our little monkey master bed. notes <laughs> hold them hold them because <laughs> he ain't worth shit that's right <laughs> The only way they're worth shit right now is if you got into them like three and a half years ago, like I did. Damn, that's crazy. It's been that long. I'm gonna wait three and a half years, and then I can buy my. 
The sheep have been walking in a circle for 10 days straight. That's oh. that, that's like what those ants do when they go into the, like their little death circle. They just go around in circles until they all just drop over dead. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's, I've seen it on a... Uh, yeah, or death spiral, as it was called. Yeah, see, oh. they, they start going in a... Um, like a circle and they don't stop until they're all dead. Just some really? weird shit they do. Yeah. Crazy. So like they did they die of exhaustion? Like because they walk themselves to death? Yeah, because they don't they don't work or anything. They just keep going in the circle until they and they don't stop going in the circle. Huh? They just yep. yeah. Wow. I wonder if that's what the sheep are doing. That would be crazy if well whatever that is, like keep an eye on it, man. See if you see any. Or anyone who's watching, that's fucking. I don't even understand what's going on. Uh, Is he about to get in a fight with the cops? <laughs> What? Dude, that guy just booked it. I know. <laughs> they didn't even go after him. <laughs> uh, That's funny, dude. Really another funny. cop fucking. The fucking cops <laughs> fell for it. They're like, huh? <laughs> he just books it. Right? Right? That's funny. That's dude. fucking. See, that's okay. <laughs> if, to, to, if you want to fucking run away from the cops and fuck with them like that, that's fine. It's nonviolent. Right. And then, and now, if that, if at that point. The cops shot the kid or fucking something. Now the, the cops are wrong. Or if they, but if they, you know, the moment you start interacting physically with them, you give them the right. That was the smart way. Look over there. Boom. I'm gone. Uh -huh. He took off like fucking the roadrunner, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speedy, Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> That's how you know it was definitely not a white dude because white guys can, we cannot run and move that fast. <laughs> We think we do. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> there might be like two white guys that do. How's fucking Kronos looking? Market. Oh, shit. Look at Bitcoin. Trying to pop up. We'll see. We'll see. What's that? We got a low here. A higher low here. A higher low here. Can we continue? And then a big dump right here, near, and here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's right, uh, right up against this heart line. It's right. It's not a Richard heart line, though, right? No. Good. Then it would be a gay line. Yeah, man, that video where he said nobody goes to gay clubs more than me. Oh, and looks three yeah. three sums. Nobody dresses gayer than me. I was like. <laughs> He's not wrong. Dude, I, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I missed that, but yeah, he admitted it, huh? Hey, dude, I've been like fucking calling it as Captain Obvious for a year, and everyone's like, no way, you're stupid. <laughs> and then Richard Hart says it, and they're all like, what? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's fucking. You didn't see that video? I uh, I are pinned you telling it. me people didn't think he was gay? Someone didn't know people. Oh, didn't a lot know. of Mexicans would, uh, and just people in general, like when they would all, like the whole our whole community would jump on me and bash me about my uh, Richard Hart being a Richard Hart truther, and um, yeah, and now they are just quiet. They don't say much, or they've opened their eyes. Bro, he's really gay. Dabs, aren't you in? You're in our fucking chat, right? I pinned, let's see, watch this. I pinned the fucking message. Where is it? It was yesterday. I, oh, there it is. 
There it is. Oh, oh. Son of a bitch. What did I do? Now I fucked it up. Yeah, you did. It it froze on me fucking. Oh, you piece of shit, really. There it goes. So one, two, three, four. Here we go. I'll just forward it again to the group in case you guys all missed him saying. Nobody dresses gayer than him. Nobody goes to gay clubs more than him. Oh, more yeah, I got to keep this. But then he says, I love gay women. Motherfucker, you don't go to a gay club to, to find fucking gay women. Two gay yeah, women. They definitely don't want it. Yeah, they're not looking for your dick, you lying ass motherfucker. We all know what, what they're looking for. <laughs> let's see. They, they you know what most like, gay women look like, right? Well, let's see. Stupid lady. I don't know whether it was the sun or the mirror or some other uk newspaper was like trying to attack me through being anti gay and you're like nobody dresses gayer than me yeah says gayer than me no one goes to the gay club looking for three ways more than me there's girls there so i ain't, I ain't for like the dude oh gay girls quite a bit you know and so like it, yeah says gayer than me no one goes to the gay club looking for three ways more than me there's girls there <laughs> i love the guy rewinded it right this guy's just looking at him like, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> but and then, but see, you know what's funny though? First, the truth comes out. Nobody goes to the gay club. <laughs> and then it's, right? I, but I'm not there for the dudes. You're yeah, I'm there for the gay family. girls. <laughs> yeah, gay chicks are not going to funny. gay clubs. And not only that, but gay women and gay men, they have their they have different gay clubs. Not saying that they don't ever mingle in the same ones. But typically this one, like the free, like, okay, Black Sheep, you were a fucking tax cab driver. The free zone, I think it's called over there. That was all like your di lesbian dyke ass chicks. Do you remember that as a tax cab driver? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Like all like your like butch ass like dykes. Like a lot of them were like black pimp type gangster bitches. Yeah. And then across yeah, right. the street, you had all the, you had the tranny bar. And then on the other corner, it was like the fairy boys, you know? And then on the back end of all of that was the most fucking dirty white trash punk rock bar in all of Las Vegas called the double down. <laughs> you had to be real yeah. careful. If you didn't know that area at the double down, you get drunk and you walk all oh, the bar hopping to the other bars around here. And you don't know better. You're gonna right. be a, a shock, <laughs> but they typically have their own. Even those, they were all in the same area, but each of the little bars had their own like different crowd. You guys are out there in the chat. Uh, we just broke two thousand rockets. Oh yeah, let's get that. Fuck. Let's God get that right. fire. Let's get to three thousand. Let's get that fire. <laughs> I better hit the fire right now. I hit the fire. 284. Damn. See, somebody is coming out, is intentionally trying to fud us and it come might be at popping us. again. Is it son of a bitch? Yeah. Like all those flat, we're getting a lot more uh red flags really quick. Um I don't give a fuck. Some it's huh? all fucking interaction, good or bad. It's all uh you know with ai and seo it's all interaction interaction is interaction fucking haters man that's all it is haters <laughs> yeah because we only had haters. fucking we only had three flags and 12 shits and one of the shits was me on accident um <laughs> and uh good job, now, good job good job i know well that's that's why everybody needs to go out here and hit these rockets and fires every day. Because I do know, it every day when I check. They'll never the chart. catch. They'll never I, catch up with us every mm -hmm. day. When I check the chart, um, that's what I do. Hell yeah, yeah. Good shit. Nah, I do it when sheep ever post in the channel. Oh <laughs> yeah. Wow, you only do it then. You're a terrible human being, man. Trey. You can only do it once a day. Yeah, yeah. Thing, yeah, but you can do it once a day from all your different devices. That's probably what yeah. that's probably what some asshole is doing. He's oh, probably got a bunch of devices and he's going yeah. around fucking. You could, I guess you, you can use a VPN too. 
I might I might reactivate my VPN just to do that. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. Then you're in another you can do it. Yeah. I'm gonna see if it works. When I'm finished this, I'm gonna because I have a VPN also. Oh cool. Yeah, I just yes. I don't have mine activated right now, so, so I'm not I'm gonna do it before the day. I'm gonna message you and let you know. I'm gonna try to do like fifty cool. if I can. Yeah, right. Rhino said he was able to do it before. So, man, I'm I am bummed out that our uh, hater deleted his uh, his dumbass uh, DGen protocol scam. Like when our shit started launching back up is when he deleted it. Because um, I would check and it was there forever. And I bet you now that it dumped in, he's probably like, "Dang it! I should have kept it. I could have talked so much shit." <laughs> I loved it, dude. When I finally got my post. I was like, yes, finally I got mine. Donnie and Trish, you're not special anymore. <laughs> we were all getting our own posts in the fucking haters group. What are you doing, Black Sheep? Seeing how many other DJ and protocol channels are out there. Damn, just as we've been sitting here talking about people giving us rockets and fire, somebody gave us a shit. You sure it's not you by mistake? It was that you that hit a shit, Dab? No. Is that what you're saying? No. I just, no, I just refreshed it, and there was a couple more on there. Oh. Yeah, just that, well, like two minutes ago versus now that we've got a shit. Maybe five minutes. When I went on there, when we started talking about it, I went on and gave a fire. Yep. Fucking dabs. You're giving us shits, man. Damn, that's fucked up, bro. Hey, so guys, don't forget all you hexagons. No, nobody fucking goes to the gay clubs for threesomes more than your hero. Nobody dresses gayer than your hero. Oh, I guess the owner of this group hasn't even logged in since July. The the one we reported. Oh yeah, yeah, and it's, it's still up. Get big. Yeah, that's cool. Though, they, if he doesn't, if he doesn't log in for a year, that that will that will automatically come down. But they didn't do anything with all of us reporting it. What's the point of having a way to report shit, dude? I know it's so stupid. Like they're using fucking trademarked shit, dude. They that's illegal. Yeah. It's like Joker retreated our stream. Oh, nice. Thanks, Joker. Yes, sir. Thank you. I want to watch a good knockout again. Here we go. Do you want to lose your fucking name, chat? That hook, he got him good with that first hook. That fucking, that caught the guy right? off guard. And then he just drilled yeah. it home with that fucking. <laughs> He, I oh, did him the fact that he was looking too, like he wasn't stupid. He was looking around, like who's gonna see me fuck this guy up? <laughs> that fucking monkey, dude. <laughs> Just jumped. Oh, man. You always get that look like you're trying to shit yourself, dude. I know that look. Every guy that drives a badass car gets that look when they fucking get on it. Watch all the YouTubers you want. This is a full power. That's 80 miles an hour, baby, baby, baby. Woo! Yeah, <laughs> that look. That's that look, dude. It's that you can't help it. When you drive a car like that, 
It's like everybody gets right. those looks like, mm, like <laughs> you're taking a big old shit right now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that anger I think that puts anger you back, man. Nobody, nobody I've ever seen when they have those when they show them driving high horsepower vehicles, they're all smiling. They're like, Woo, that was fun. <laughs> They're like they got an angry look. I had, some, oh, yeah. I had some bitch cut me off today. I was like, "Honk!" She got right out the way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Holy shit, dude! You yeah, my truck's blow. badass, though, man. All the like the like that thing warns you when anybody's around you, like or getting in your way or anything. Like it'll and it'll automatically break for you too. That's what my BMW does too. It'll it'll. Yeah. Uh, Break it'll main if I put on cruise control, it'll maintain a safe distance, and the person in front of me is going slower when I come up to them. Yep, it'll slow yeah, it out the, and, and pace me at the their pace. Yeah, yeah, yep. Which it, yeah, in a luxury good, car, you're not paying it because a couple of times, like I just looked down for a second, somebody got in front of me, it's like, beep, beep. I was like, shit, <laughs> nice. <All right. laughs> You're busy trying to yeah. fucking text message or something like a dummy. Oh, yeah. Take him dick pics to send. Yeah, right. While I'm driving. Yeah, while well, he gets in a crash. What happened? Well, see, I was taking this dick pic and just, and uh, you know, I was almost there, and before I know, beep, beep, and I'm hit him. Now, usually, I'd be looking down and just make sure I'm in sport mode or something. <laughs> Ready to wreck it. I like my version better. It's much more. Yeah, I think it's dope though. I don't think I'll ever sell that truck, man. Yeah, if you don't need to, why not, dude? Even if you want another truck yeah. in the future, keep that one because that yeah. truck yeah. is not like yeah. any other truck. Yeah, that truck I could like because it's already super modified. I could just continue the continue the project on it. <laughs> I don't I don't know, man. I, I mean it would be cool to be faster, but I think it's just plenty. <laughs> you know? I'd say so in a truck. Yeah, your truck is faster than my fucking sports car. Yeah, I'd say that's I mean, fast. Like, I think I think I'll probably just get get a fucking sick ass sports car or something next. Yeah, because you because already got it's it, the the center of gravity is on it too, is too high to to really get you know to really have a lot of fun. With it. <laughs> that's why, personally, me going really fast, if, I, if I owned the TRX and did what you did, I personally would probably would slam it so that way I could drive it like a car and fuck people's whole world up. Yeah, I've thought about that. Cause that's like the, it's just like especially when you're doing like 90 on the freeway and you do any like like 65 graded turn, like you can feel it like swing. <laughs> like, yeah. Like woo I bet. back off it just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can feel the weight, man. It's super fucking yeah there's heavy. not many trucks that I like slammed. And I think something like that, I think yeah. I would enjoy it slammed because it's like, but I it's think a fucking supercar. <laughs> yeah, but but I think uh, I think I'm pretty safe if I if I ever did get into an accident in that thing. I, I don't think I would get yeah. I would get a fucking scratch yeah, yeah. on me. I would Dude, just go you, through them. <laughs> like obviously, the, your truck is too cheap to be considered like a hypercar. But if you look at like your fucking horsepower, like your performance of that, your performance is up there with a fucking hypercar, dude. The only difference is a hypercar yeah. has got to be over, I think, like a million bucks, you know. But you're in supercar territory with the price that you that you uh, have put into your truck. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. in. You're. It's like that's why I was telling people that that's a supercar truck. It ain't a truck. It's a fucking supercar. Hidden. Yeah. It's an like undercover supercar. Yeah. Yeah, it's a sleeper. I had some guy on uh, on Instagram today. He because I, I I put hashtag twin turbo and he's like, "Don't you mean a hashtag supercharged?" I'm like, "No, bro." <laughs> but thanks for trying to correct me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He thought he's like, he "Yeah, there's not too many out there like that." Yeah, we just didn't know. He's, I mean, he's just some he new guy. Oh, I'm like, I'm like, come over and check out my crypto channel. You'll see I paid it off. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. It's I do when when we were at the fucking uh, Pulse Con, and I that's why I wanted both your truck and my car park, parked right there because together that second day because I would use your truck or my car to show people like you see that you see that fucking truck yeah. that's his 
I was bragging I could have put a down payment on a house with that money, but you know what? I I still have no regrets. <laughs> Same, bro. I spent a quarter million dollars. Was it? Yeah. Uh, a quarter, almost a quarter million dollars on um, – well, what did I spend on vehicles this year? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> oh, almost 200 I spent on yeah. vehicles, like – Plus the one thirty inch, over two hundred with that in my house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I let's see sixty. Just, just the buy, just the the Corvette and the and the Harley was over a hundred. That was over hundred grand. Just that. So maybe like uh, maybe like a hundred. I spent like one hundred seventy thousand this this year on vehicles. But I also last year paid off my other two motorcycles with crypto. So, I mean, if you factor that in, yeah, like 180, 190 I've spent on vehicles. That plus the 130 ish that I spent on my uh, 40 acres, I could have bought like a nice house in the South, like cash. Yeah, that's right. A, that, dude, that's what. Once we get to the point where we're all so filthy rich, we should buy a fucking <laughs> house somewhere, somewhere like in the south where it's got like on a lake, you know, where you could go out fucking in the summertime or wintertime. Like go there. And, yeah, like yeah. party on the lake in the wintertime. Our wintertime. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That'd be dope. You're like, like there's one yeah. house right now I'm on a lake there. I think I sent you you guys the listing just like was like, dude, imagine this. It was less than 1.1 million and it's right on the water in here in Nevada. It, in, it would easily be a fucking in, at Lake Tahoe, 10, 20 million, probably 10 million. Woo, chunk is moving, baby. <laughs> oh my God, dude. He's going to pull this shit off. <laughs> I kept telling all y'all motherfuckers. Oh, I told I said from the beginning, if anybody's gonna be able to do it, it's Bank Teller, because he's a fucking genius. <laughs> like people don't give him enough yeah. credit, man. Like I said, he fucking built half the fucking contracts in the space, but people want to suck other people's dicks thinking that they're the fucking goat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and not and not give him I always sit and tell because the, the people that do that are the biggest haters of BT that try and call other people the goat. You know. It, yeah, it's it's, stupid, it's always BT haters like and I always remind them bro remember the history of where all these daps where drip drip yeah. would never have been never would have been there if BT one of them said well uh BT never would have made it if it wasn't for Tron chain like what you might be right you might I can't argue that but the point yeah. is that he Absolutely. improved Tron chain by a lot but it still wasn't perfect and he still fucked it up and uh, BB uh, fixed it and, and made drip. Yeah. And BB improved uh, on on. We know the 4X. truth. We know the facts. People want to talk shit. Kiss my ass. Right. And, and <laughs> but people too. So many people can't understand. Like if we say this shit, they think, oh, you're tr you you don't like drip. You're fudding drip. You're no. It's just like you. Know, at a certain point, you have to be a realist, right? And yeah, I I was still fucking and up until uh over ten bucks, I, I still wasn't really being a realist. But then as we got closer to minting and the price got, that's when the price got under ten bucks. We got real close to minting. That's when I'll never forget. People still give me a hard time. I'm like, all I did was took the information Black Sheep gave me on when it would start minting, and started telling you guys, here comes the bleed out. It's and they try and tell me it's still not bleeding out. This is normal what it's doing. Like, no. I wish I could I I probably could go through our chat and find the the day that I, you know, that it was. Where are those fucking then, injections? I don't see any more injections. I don't know. How many more millions has uh Forex been able to take out of the pig pen since the farm started back up though, you know? With his thirty thousand fucking minted pigs, he should just migrate that liquidity over and start a V two and do it all over again. That's what I would do. This is fucking this. Uh, 
They have such a strong community. Like, come on, fucking drippers or drippikins, whatever the fuck you want to be called. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, their community's full of assholes. You guys are cool, yeah. but yeah, but, but know, they banned half the they banned half the people. But they are, but yeah, they're dude. very. Cool I would love to see how many people are banned in that fucking chat, dude. It's got to be thousands. All of them, <laughs> and and well, that's but that's the thing. Very cold, like just like Hex. I was well, blown. It, it, I was blown away. Hex dropped to the levels it, it's at. I was blown away because when you have such a fucking crazy cult like Drip has and and Four X has with these blinders on like this constantly. And every anything that you say to them that could be even remotely construed as negative, ask it a question because you don't understand something. They view it as negative. You're gone. Yep. Yep. And it's too bad. Like that's even with Hex. What happened to Black Sheep and the Joker? Like they got ostracized because uh, they they maybe they invest in something else or they don't. 100% 100% agree with every fucking right. aspect. And they all just come hang out with the DJ protocol. Yep, they do. <laughs> They're fucking outcast. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of cool hexagons in our group. Even the ones that I've fucking gone back and forth with banter with. Because to me, it's fun when they banter with me. I'm like, oh. Right. But <laughs> I hope there's a way that they could fuck Richard Hart legally without hurting crypto. But I don't think it's possible. Huh. So, we really need to hope that he can do well against the SEC, and that kills me to say. You heard it here first. Bitcoin is going to zero. Zero. When it comes out, zero. <laughs> hey, that chart looked just like the current day chart, the, the one in the background. Fuck? How long ago was that? <laughs> you heard it here first. Bitcoin is going to zero. Zero. When it comes out, zero. Looks like 2019 I see on the wall there. That's what I saw on the wall there, too. When it comes out, it had already been out for 10 years, you dumb fuck. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Holy shit. Yep. I wonder what he thinks about Bitcoin now. (laughs) <laughs> who is that guy? I know some people have said they know who he is and they've said his name before. Uh, He's some big name. I don't know him. Like maybe old world finance guy. He was uh, very passionate about the zero thing. Right? Bitcoin is going to zero guy. What's his name? <laughs> uh Uh, See, he's using my my superpower right now. He's he's googling it, everybody. That's all I've ever done. See, every that's why when people call me a know it all. Oh, Dan Dan Pena, Dan Pena, Dan Pena. When people start calling me a know it all, I'm like, you guys, you realize we sit in front of computers all day. When we all start talking about a subject, I will start googling it. Like over here, <laughs> I was like, "I'm gonna Google it all, dummy." I a lot of times I'll be reading off of the fucking website. <laughs> Shane, what? Get off there! I want that big old dick. <laughs> what the fuck did she just say? Hey. <laughs> Man, that was a good day. Look at that crip uh, crow was almost twelve tens. What's up, Hexile DJ? In? Yeah, that's that's one of the the hexagons that's actually pr- pretty cool. Yeah, he's, had band- he's another one that well, he's another one that got. Uh, I think he got like it still fucking uh, defend Tex in the community and Richard Hart, and that's what's crazy. That's what I mean. Like, there's so many good people that have that believe in such a shit bag. You know, <laughs> but even when you get ostracized from a community, like you guys all still love that community. I mean, you made songs about him, about you sucking his dick, basically. You know. <laughs> What's up, Donnie? Hey, how we doing, bro? Oh, you know why he doesn't like you? In that, in your video where he says, Here he goes, guys. guys insert dick. Richard Hart is such a pimp. I just want to be like him. Give me some hotties and a... 
That's the black <laughs> the black sheep token. That's the token I care the least about. <laughs> That's my- Oh, wow. <laughs> Dude, hey, you know why he's mad at you? Because when you said hotties, you had a girl dancing. You should have had some fucking big old, bu- <laughs> some big old buff dude with a six pack. Like, no shit. he would have fucking pushed it. Then he'd have been like, this guy is talented as fuck. Uh. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you want to be like me? And then you got chicks there. You're an idiot. He's a fucking homo. Yeah, I used to like him. Even if he, and 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 if he is a, is likes guys, who gives a fuck? Just be a, who you are and be honest. You know, right. don't don't. Act uh, like- we've got crypto black sheep says I uh, I got st- <laughs> I got stoned and got a full note at the buzzer. Maybe that helped you. Maybe that was the trick. Maybe these people who got in quick and and got their light nodes mm-hmm. or whatever they needed. Maybe, maybe they Tom were thrown. down for him. Maybe they were onto something, or maybe they were drunk, or no. uh, <laughs> only black sheep. And then he pay, and then he tips him four twenty. Right, fucking black sheep. Yeah, you were so excited that day. You were like, "I'm gonna get me the nude." Hey, is that doing good? Didn't it start pumping again? Uh, I don't know. The how to it. Well, let's check yeah, it out. For it, though, so it wasn't really worth uh, hanging on to. I didn't think. Watch it fucking moon. Oh no, it came down. Oh, it's just uh, you doing still have thing. I mean, in, Janu- in January they they start they launch their blockchain, and I'll, I'll get to set up that node. Okay. Nice. So hey, Manchard, what is that one? 500 people to get it. I have Manch- no idea. You don't know? It's kind of cool looking. When you talk, it's real creep. It looks creepier. I'll find a use for it. Well, you gotta, you gotta get fucking this one though. You gotta find. It. You got, dude. You gotta get the Manchard one that I have. Uh, you gotta get your own. No, this hands are butt buddy. Let's see here. Where is the man? Where is the famous mantra one? Are you gonna be uh right. available the next couple days, Shane? Or Oh, you said you got something going on this weekend, right? Oh, yeah. Because I'm going, uh, to, I'm going yeah. to San Diego tomorrow. Okay. Um, Whoops. Saturday, I have um, – we have a Thanksgiving dinner at, at the clubhouse. And um, so that – I have to be there, I think, around – Damn, Donnie's fucking pamping it today. <laughs> hey, Mantrid, look, man. I look like you, bro. Hold on. Uh, look, I'm I'm Mantrid. Hey, Amen. <laughs> Mantrid, you have to use this one, dude, because it's it's fucking you. What's it called? <laughs> um, let's see. It's called Captain. All I can see is it says Captain Class, and then it has a bunch of dots. And. Sheep token looking like more of a pulse Maybe chain than anything else. <laughs> what are you uh, playing with the liquidity? <laughs> a little bit. Oh shit, there's one, a pickle face. The same person who does that mantra face does a pickle face. Oh yeah. Oh, we got a new one for PCM. I gotta find that lens. You ain't gonna play hide the pickle with me, PCM. All right, that's enough of that. Oh, dude. Now, where do I find it? 
uh, search lens pickle. <laughs> Let's see, where is it? Damn, there are so many pickles. Is this it? I think this one. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> oh, look at it. Ain't gonna... Hey, PCM, you ain't gonna have the pickle with me either! <laughs> hey, PCM, guess what? We ain't playing hide the pickle. It's not 1942, and the colors and the lights, we don't got different uh, drinking fountains anymore. <laughs> you ain't going to play hide the pickle with me, PCM. All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> oh, the fucking pickle. <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's I'm going to go... Uh, Hi, Joker's live on Twitch. I'm going to go give him a shout real quick. You're going to go play Hide the Pickle with Joker? Yep. <laughs> I'll do it today in PCM's day. Oh, you're going to go say hi to your buddy? You guys going to play Hide the Pickle? What's, what's there going is. on? There he is. Oh, look at that car, man, Trin. Oh, man, I knew you weren't a bitch. <clears throat> See that? I knew Mantrid was not a bitch. For a guy that's owned a bunch of three series, uh, that's pretty impressive that you have that right now. What the fuck? Oh, look. Mantrid's got the fucking... Tur Turn off your fucking green screen. That's what's interfering with it. <laughs> Oh, Mandred found his uh, his fucking filter. How do you... Is this not a like button? Is it an unfollow button? What the fuck? I don't know. I've never been on... I never even heard of Twitch till you and I were talking about it from your streaming there. Right? There he is. <laughs> and he still has all his old shit up, you know? And heck. He hasn't turned against the community.
Oh. Uh, what's his name? The he- uh, actual actual Joker. Welcome, Welcome to Willa. Willa. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Canadian witch. Canadian witch. Canadian witch. My mom went to sleep, so she ain't gonna be here. It's gonna see everyone here. Hopefully, you guys are having a great day. Hopefully, the fun doesn't got you. It doesn't have you down. The fun can definitely get you down, but it's all right because yours truly is it gonna stop. We got a lot more work to be done. While wow, there's a scurrying around like cockroaches. The cockroaches. I'm still uh, doing my part. Just saying. Still doing things. Let that be a lesson to all the hexkins out there that support those who ran. Cockroaches. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. It was a good day. We're going to play some Call of Duty Warzone 2. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy that game. Yeah, make sure you go ahead and grab your snacks, your popcorn, your drinkies, all that cool shit. And also grab a loved one to watch with you. Because I'm going to do some stuff. I'm going to wreck some plebs in this game. Now, I only (laughs) played the Warzone portion of this game once. Only one time. Because I only had time to play it once, really. But I got a lot of kills that one time. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what it looks like. All right. Here we go. By the way, uh, Black Sheep, if uh, you play some Call of Duty, you let me know, bro. We can party up. <laughs> right. Party it up, baby. Let's go. Full Cindy! <laughs> no Batmans. No Batmans in my chat. Alright, you're being too generous. I gotta I gotta get in the game. I gotta get in the game. I get it. Alright. Oh, I can't uh I can't comment because I have to be following him for at least thirty minutes. I just oh, said, really? oh, uh, Island <laughs> Boy, thank you very much yeah. for the follow. I appreciate, <laughs> I appreciate you, bro. You, bro. There's, There's a bit of a follow, follow kind of buffer for you to, for you to chat, 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 unfortunately. unfortunately. That's, that's just yep. it's the nature of the game. I got trolls, man. <laughs> I got you got a shout out. Follow me, and they just do the nonsense, and we just don't want them to have the opportunity to continue <laughs> trolling. <laughs> man, oh, it is. You want I love it. On our stream. <laughs> You're on my, on my stream at the moment. moment. Yeah, Hell yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's what's up. Oh, yeah. We got the DJ and protocol folks watching from a distance. Who's that? Who's that? Did you tell them we're doing a uh, whole viewing right yeah, now? Yeah, I told them we're streaming. Oh, we're streaming, our, big we're streaming sexy, his stream on our stream. <laughs> yeah, who told you to do that? Oh, that's you, Scarecrow. Okay. So you do that <laughs> right to on. RT1 fan, fan. welcome to the villains. What's going on, Big Sexy? What are you up to tonight? Playing some Call of Duty. What are you doing? What are you doing tonight, Big Sexy, eh? <laughs> All right, let's see what this game's about. Oh, this Hopefully we could, uh, we could, uh, I don't have this one yet. Warzone 2.0. I'll have to check it out. Of course, we're going to do the uh, solos because I don't got Mr. Black Sheep here with me. Uh, but hey, you know, eventually I will, right? Let's hope that happens. Oh. I nice to see you're streaming yeah. a scammer. Me. You're oh, fucking I'm dumb as you shit, bro. Me. <laughs> Whoever the fuck yeah. you are. Yo, Big, do you run on D Live anymore? What's going on? That, that was the dumbest the comment we've had all week. Uh, Thank you. Really crazy. <laughs> yeah, you ain't a reward. Mm. Oh, it's are those free folks still sheep. doing the craziness on that side? Oh, nice. They, did they just I'll give up? Get it. Because I would have gave up by now. You know what I'm saying? I would. I would have just been like, "Yeah, you can get fucked, bro. Get fucked." D Live is D Live, right? (laughs) I would like to know how people honestly think he's a scammer. What? Because he's exposing Richard Hart and 
and and <laughs> fucking, dude, fucking hex kids He's just so suck in that dick. Eli. That's what they do. Suck that dick. Am I though? <laughs> hey, I haven't. Hey, what did I tell you for the last year and a half? Our battle. I know, man. That's what they do, dude. They're a fucking cult, motherfucking fucking. You're the scammer, bitch. Get the fuck off this my music, stream. This music really sucks. Uh, that's just some twelve-year-old <laughs> kid that got beat down in Call of Duty. So they don't, the they don't really know how to do this, right? It uh, seems right. Now imagine if this music was copyright. Mm. He's a scammer. Like I know some video games that did that use copyright what music. What to get? Like if people content. don't want to get me get into copyright. villain token, they don't have to. Yeah, that's their choice. Oh boy! Oh no boy! Where's my then, Canadian witch? Let I don't associate with scammers, you piece of shit. There's, there's a lot of people yeah. Let me on guess, there. Richard Hart, who's Everyone's been spending the billion dollars in everyone's face, that has a twenty. Yeah, he's not a scammer at all, right? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, uh, a Twenty-five year written <laughs> history in the courts and all over the internet. The guy being a scammer, while. way before Hex existed. What the flip of flat? Time to practice. We will be deploying soon. We're, we're setting it up right now, Brandon. It's it's coming soon. Just uh, just hang out. In the... Is that proximity chat? Yeah. Hostiles yeah. dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Ah, uh, he was Wait, behind me. Wow. Black <laughs> Sheep, you should download it and you can play with him, dude. I know, right? I get too much anxiety to play these kind of games. In dude. the sweatshop, boys. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I've got thousands of hours in these games. Oh, is that where you get it? Yeah. Fucking shit up. Yeah, you get it on Steam for free. Hold on one second. It seems that we got some, uh, he some just issue. Put the, uh, the, he just put the link Order in the sweatshop. Oh, cool. Right on. Alright, let's go to normal for the stream. No, no, I'll go download it real quick. Alright. I sense a little lag. Hopefully it's gonna be good. Hold up. Let's do all normal. All Gas is closing on your position. Suggest you get moving. All right, here we go. Good. Now remember, this is my second time playing this game, so I can't tell you I'm gonna be great or not. But I'm gonna do some stuff. Let's freaking go! <laughs> Appreciate you, Big Sexy. I appreciate you. All right, let's go, baby. To engage all targets. <laughs> Yeah. He gets into this shit, man. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I'm actually downloading the game, so you know, I'm a, I'll be able to play later. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same. Oh yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oi, DJ, plan up. Fuck yeah. Hey, wait. If <laughs> I do down, if I do download it, I can play it with my uh, Xbox controller that works for my PC, right? Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. You probably. can also get it on Xbox. I don't have an Xbox. I'm actually going to pull up my uh, PS4 controller to the computer for that. <laughs> See, I have, I bought, I bought a uh, because you know PC master race Indiana motherfuckers. Window? I bought the Xbox controller just to use it with my computer, so I could play a game with Rhino, and then him and I and Sheep played like once, and we never played the game together. How do you find out like what room he's in and shit, or what? Um, oh, we probably got to add each other as like, friends maybe on Steam or whatever. whatever. Oh, okay. Why is there music? Like, cool. yeah, <laughs> yeah. I guess I'm gonna to jump off because my bandwidth's getting chewed by the download. Right, but I'll uh, catch up with you later on. Cool, okay. Man. Yeah. Cool. Right, cool. We're gonna download this game and uh, figure out how to play with it. Nice. <sighs> Yeah.
Dude, do you guys more and more people are getting the all uh, uh Ultimo card and saying it's great? Like uh Western Star, I completely yeah. trust him and what, what he says. He's just talking about how he it's Yeah, I'm gonna shit. get one. So what what yeah. do you uh what are the details of it? Like, do you have to hold some of their token or something? You buy an NFT, I believe. Yeah, you buy an NFT and then you get access to the all that shit, the bank account and uh <laughs> And the NFT pretty, is like thirty uh, five hundred dollars or something. Yeah, um, only until they yeah, run out. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. I told him to make sure he saves me one in case they uh, start to sell out. So, how many total are there? I mean, eight hundred. I think uh, there's only like, yeah, there's a, there's not that many. Huh. And uh, I mean, it, yeah, that'll be, be great for next year, man. Yeah, uh, next year. Next year, I don't plan on reporting um, everything. <laughs> well, change your status and you don't have to worry, bro. I know. That, that's another thing I'm looking at uh, now that you're doing it. Shit. Might yeah, well. man. You're, you don't if I can be a fucking... I can be a... I can be a gun-toting hippie, too. <laughs> a gun-toting hippie. That's basically what they are. They're basically like gun-toting hippies, like... <laughs> Like, love thy neighbor, <laughs> do no harm to others, but you better believe I'm fucking concealed carrying in every 50 states, bitch. <laughs> like, that's right? kind of like the motto. <laughs> love thy neighbor, do no harm, and fucking pack guns. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's basically that's what our country plan. was founded on. That Those are the basic principles our country was founded on. Protect yourself yeah. and your loved ones and your property. You know, you're allowed to own firearms to do it and everybody protect themselves within fair means of the law and um, just be a good human being. So, Hell yeah. Don't rob, don't steal, don't cheat. Don't break into people's houses. Hell yeah. Treat people how you want to be treated. I know I don't always. I because I wouldn't want to deal with a dickhead like me when I get mad. PC full of cheaters. Hey Dad, what do you mean by a PC's full of cheaters? Like somehow they can cheat because they're playing on a PC versus a console? And how the fuck do you cheat? on a game like that where it requires you to aim and shoot and hit people. I don't know. I'm not a gamer. I've, I, I say, so, uh, they use like, uh, I don't know. I think they use bots or something or, okay. I don't know. Yeah. Cause while all the gaming nerds are, are, were here playing games, I was out getting pussy. <laughs> right. I don't know. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, auto aims. That's right. Auto aims on people's heads. <laughs> auto aims. Is that like some sort of like add-on or something? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not a cheater. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. you can download. It. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know, oh, I didn't. Now all of a sudden, black sheep's gonna get fucking nothing but headshots. Yeah, but if you get caught doing that, don't they have like? rules within the games like if they catch you you get like booted out of all the servers and you get uh they they like black uh lift you don't they software people buy oh, is that oh, is it first. is it allowed though like i know not like legal is the wrong word for it but is it like uh not is it not permitted by the games to, to do that shit or do they yeah you get banned but okay so they just get banned on that account and it doesn't like trace back to an IP or some shit. Yeah, but then if they if if they're like because I know a lot of these gamer nerds that play these games, they uh they freak out if they lose all their stats. So wouldn't they freak out?
Well, fellas, it's been fun, but it's my bedtime. I'll catch you in the morning. Nice, man. All right. Later. Page. Fuck happened? Oh, okay. Play game. She was installed. Open Steam. Uh, what do you think about Furio, guys? I think right now Furio is in the spot where it's truly, truly going to be tested. I think this is the true test. And if it can withhandle this, fucking amazing. Yeah. You know, all the more stronger. I think it'll be around for a little while. I think so, too. I'm hoping that it, you know, I'm hoping it, just like Drip, I hope it lasts for fucking the next five years. But if it starts to look bad and go south, uh, you know, I'm going to call it like I see it. How do you make money off of using that and doing headshots? What do you like? I don't, I don't know enough about like the gaming world and, 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 how they make money with streaming and shit. Yeah, that they need a fucking, they need to stop. Because clearly, uh, from what I understand, their fur bot fucking is sucking fur pie. And they need to fucking stop. They need to learn, like, have has, has anybody tried to talk to them about all of us that were, like, heavy into bot trading and how good it was until it wasn't, and then it was just nothing but bad. Like, do these do these guys have experience with bot trading prior to fucking Furbot? I mean, because as soon as I heard they were bot trading, I was like, Ew, no, no, I don't like that. I'm not touching it. What, 226K... Uh, Dollars are, are are out already of the. Well, that's a big download. Yeah. Yeah. No, that that I think that trading bot's a bunch of horse shit. Honestly, that's my honest opinion. Yeah, I. Agree. They need uh, they need a better solution than that, dude. That's gonna wreck everybody's fucking money. Yeah. If they want to do it, don't fucking don't use LMS money. Like, are you? Fucking I mean, on? I I guess you know we'll give it time, but like, dude, if they keep fucking, if they keep having losing days like that, like, holy shit! Uh, and they probably got guys like us running the bots, not professional traders. Guys that are just like, yeah, and then all of a sudden they're like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two point yeah. million on the line now. Yeah. Two months. Uh yeah. Killer guys. Two months. Um, two months negative now. Yeah. Uh I with mean, the bot. If it ain't working, they, they gotta come up with a better solution. So I said if the dude, if they put that fucking two two and a half million in the fucking hedge fund, they would have a half a million dollars in ten days and then a half a million dollars every month. You know, but, but no, nobody wants to fucking nobody wants to listen to black sheep. So well, it's because with that, with investors, they they need to keep the money more liquid. I'm guessing, but even part of it, if they even did some of it, like okay, leave half How of much it more liquid. Than a half million a fucking month, dude. 
Every month, just well, put a it, half million in the fucking LMS. Call it a day. You know? Shit, probably need more than that, though. Yeah, they're pulling a fucking Tiwi. Exactly. <laughs> pulling a fucking Tiwi. <laughs> and the only difference is, is people signed up for this. And people didn't sign up for a Tiwi. So. Whatever. We'll see where they're at in a year, and we'll see where we're at in a year. Yeah. So. And let's hope for the best, guys. You know what I mean? Let's hope they figure it out. Because, yep. you know, like a lot I'm optimistic, of podcasts, but, uh, we're off to a bad start. Yeah. Well, they were off to a great start. Now they hit a fucking, they hit a one hell of a fucking speed bump. They, they need to wise up. People need to stop investing into this fucking bot. Um, or maybe people need to invest in this and they'll stop taking from the fucking <laughs> I, just, yeah. I don't know. Crypto Kings are giving away 20 drip uh, Saturday for the best wannabe whale impersonation. <laughs> Wait, what, who is? That's you. That's got you written all over it. Crypto Kings. Wait. Crypto Kings is giving away 20 drip airdrop Saturday for the best one. What's poppin' drip poppin army? army. Wanna be whale well here. here. I just want to talk a little bit today about drip. drip. A little bit about little animal, animal farm. farm. Well, mostly, mostly about random, random shit, shit I see outside see my house around 2.15 in the afternoon every day. Every day. <laughs> so yesterday, so I, yesterday woke up, I woke up, woke up did my pre-workout, so workout, went to the gym, went to the gym did an incredibly leg, leg, leg day. day. My legs are so sore today. I need my wife's help me on the toilet to shit right now. That's me that I need to get out there. I was talking to walk outside, outside, outside my house, house and I saw one, I saw of, the one of the most incredible creatures on God's green earth. earth. I saw, I saw not, not a white, white but a black, black swan, swan roaming around, around, around near the neighbor's, neighbor's, neighbor's porch. porch. That got me, that got thinking. me thinking. If I see a black swan in real life and a black swan like that, that must be a second coming coming happening soon. I don't mean to say that Jesus Christ is Christ, our Lord and Savior, by the way. This old drugs. I was ever seen now, you're uh, not no, 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 AFP and like <laughs> right, right now. now. You're, doing you're doing it all, it all wrong. wrong. <laughs> By this By time, time next year, year we're going to see so at the level level levels of these three of these tokens. tokens. Uh, and anyone who follow my advice right now is going to feel rich, rich in the next, in the next market. market. The one other thing I want to mention, I also successfully tied my own shoes for the first time today. One on a That was pretty good. Was Man, good I think I could do better with, uh, but it, with me, you got to like, you got to see the visual too, though, you know? That's all half of the fun. Right. Because it, it gets all excited. Ah! Hey, y'all. Hey, what's up? Y'all, what are we doing here? Uh, y'all ever hear drip? No? No, how about Jesus? <laughs> well, what the funny thing is, is that Jesus told me to tell y'all to buy drip. It's under a million dollars, right? And so Jesus said, hey, how you want to be well? And I was like, yeah, Jesus. And first of all, he said, hey, how many reps have how many reps you done so far? And I was like, well, Jesus, I'm on rep 2,942, and I am jacked up on drip, Jesus, and Mountain Dew, which want to be well. I don't know if you really like Mountain Dew, but it's all fun. And so I was like... So Jesus was like, dang, man, that's a lot of reps, right? And I was like, yeah, I know, Jesus, I know, I know. And he was like, well, you need to get more people on the drip, right? It's a great price. It's under a million dollars, he told me. And he said, hey, it's under a million dollars. Sure, get them in there. And I was like, okay, Jesus, I'll do my best. But it seems like a lot of them are a lot, little bit slow. And they oh, swear to drip, right? And so then all of a sudden, I was like, well, Jesus, I got to get back to trying to get off this here toilet after leg day because I'm stuck. And I was just like, want to be well out? You're going to hell if you don't mind drip. <laughs> I want to be well. What's up, want to be well? How you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, man. Oh man, that's good shit. And I'm laughing. I'm glad he's laughing. Good he shit. finds it funny because I was. I knew at some point <laughs> right? he would see it, and I was like, "When and where will he see it, and how will he take it?" I thought it figured though too. Like you know, it's flattering. People take their time to fucking to, to fucking make. Them- <laughs> 
pretty amazing, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. This is the real me, though. <laughs> this is the real me, wannabe well. So, yeah. like, I live in my mom's basement, and she feeds me pizza rolls, man, like, all day. I don't even go to leave the basement. Once a week, I leave the basement, go upstairs, I take a shower. Then I come back down here, man. I play crypto. I sound like I'm you because, I mean, look at me. I'm a loser. But my mom loves me, and she makes the best pizza rolls. It's a true story. Yeah. Crypto passive, it's, uh, you know, nobody's done anything like this before, so we just got to we just gotta hope for the best. Yeah. I, I stress having one income stream. If you're just inferior, you're probably going to get fucked eventually. So, <laughs> yeah, it's my two cents. But uh, because that two and a half percent is just fucking overkill, man. Like, yeah, and and that's what we all said. Hey, look, right now it's sustainable. The real <laughs> test will be when we start seeing a lot of uh, maxed out wallets, and we are. But the maxed out wallets aren't the real pro- problem. It's their stupid fucking trading. But I gotta take this off. I gotta be serious. Their stupid fucking trading bot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I love you. Well. Want to be well? <laughs> want to be well? You should do your best impression of me doing an impression of you. He'll probably like throw on a wig and makeup. <laughs> right. Oh man. Oh man. At least he's a good sport. You know what I mean? He must be not. You're not on a cycle right now, huh? Want to be well because when you're in the middle of the cycle, you'd be like Roy, you'd be like, No, stop making fun of me. I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> a little beta male. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, you male. ain't nothing but a but- button pushing beta male. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we should get hey, we should get him <laughs> on the fucking stream, dude, just to come fucking laugh. I know, right? <laughs> oh my god, you want to come on the stream one of Will? <laughs> yeah, give us the real one. We'll each do our impression, and then you can do the real thing. <laughs> you want to come on? There's no. a link. <laughs> Why don't you never take me serious when I look at myself like this? Yeah, Trump right now. It, my mic's popping. Trump is pumping. Oh, Trump is pumping. No, tr- Trump. <laughs> yeah, you kind of broke up a little. You're, holy shit! You you're like lagging. Your video's lagging a bit. Probably the internet crapping out on me. Are you still downloading that game? Oh yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's exactly why. Yeah, it's only 3% downloaded shit. <laughs> Damn. I'll be able to play Joker Damn. last week. Yeah. Jo- yeah, J- Joker, I'll see you next week. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Did we ever do... We didn't ever clip any of your wannabe well moments, did we? I don't think so. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> oh nice the 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 uh manufacturer of my um thing of my my mic stand is gonna send me a new one <laughs> oh look now I'm really going to look like a fat fuck because Jenny was fucking being lazy. Didn't want to cook, so she brought me fucking Taco Bell. To get fake Mexican food from a real Mexican, this is fucked. <laughs> MW2. Oh, MW2 is the game, right? Yeah, I'm trying to, but uh, it's, it's going to take a while to download. Damn. Maybe Joker will fucking be streaming for a while. <clears throat> I 
Yeah. Exile DJ, I don't think it's, there's an if about it. It's it's happening right before our very eyes. I agree. Once he launches those farms, it's, uh, it's game over. Check Dude, it. he said he he said he's gonna have XRP farms. For me personally, that it might be a good way to onboard some no coiners I know, you know, that have XRP into DeFi. He's gonna have XRP farms. Nice. He was yeah. He because today yeah he that's what he said when we were talking. Was it today? I think yeah. And he was uh that's cool, saying man. yeah he's XRP farms new farms too. Fuck it. Yeah, that's a good right? way to get no coiners into DeFi because. Let's be honest, just because you own Shiba Inu. That's a good way to just get all the communities in there, you know? Like, you get the Shiba Inu community, get the fucking XRP community, Dude, get, like, all these communities. You know who's together. big in the Shiba Inu you know? community? Joker. Fucking Joker. Yep. Yep. I know. I got a fucking... Oh, I got to tell Bank Tiller. Yeah. <laughs> that, that might be a good... Um, a, a good avenue to bring more people into the ecosystem. If Shiba Inu, because you know, like, especially when you're a no, no coiner and you just have like those meme coins, if you have somewhere you can just bring those, you know, and, and make money off them, it's a lot easier than trying to teach them, okay, well, you got to sell that to buy this, to buy that, to buy that. Hmm. This is a potato taco. That'd be dope, man. Same thing as me, dude. Not one time did I claim. Before Stampede took a bit of a shit, I was taking um, out of Stampede... And putting it into native, so that way I I always had like my um, ROI if I wanted to to pull out, and then, but other than that, it's just been roll roll roll. Same with the native, dude. Just compounding the shit out of it all year. Yeah, and I know if um, if BT can pull this off quickly. There's going to be a lot of happy people. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and can you imagine all the shit talking that's going to happen? Our group's going to right. become the shit show again with um, maxi fag wars, you know? Because then all the elephant maxi fags and BTs, cocksuckers are going to come in and start sucking away and <laughs> the creepy the other guy. Pedal van driving filter. Yeah, that's what he's using, Philly. What are you talking about? This is the real <laughs> me, man. I, I, the thing is, is I stopped <laughs> using filters. Yeah. <laughs> this is what happens so when, when you look down at changes to your other face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's about enough for me. All righty. I will see you guys tomorrow, same time, same channel. Make sure you fuck the likes on the way out. And Peace. When Lambo yellow Lambo 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 when Lambo yellow Lambo.
Hey, it's the Island Boys. This goes out to Island Boys Shane, Crypto Black Sheep, and the DGEN Protocol community. Okay, and we got a couple songs for you. Cause I'm a sheep token going to the moon. Drip hops and poles gonna, gonna make, make us all rich. The DJ protocol, let's go. go Degenerate. DJ. DJ. Shout out to the Island Boy Shane. Shout out to the Island Boy Shane. It's a sheep token going to the moon. Yeah. Drip hops and poles gonna, gonna make, make us, us all rich. The DJ protocol, let's fucking go DJ. We out, it's Island Boys. Hey, I got a question for ya. What do all the girls say to guys with big dicks? I don't know. Yeah, I knew you wouldn't know. Oh, fuck ya. Shit!